Royal Bank of Scotland has reported its eighth consecutive annual loss after to taking a 6.5 billion hit from litigation and restructuring costs, dealing another blow to government plans to sell off the state-backed lender. Shares in RBS were down 8% on Friday morning, and I'm joined by Emma Dunkley, our retail banking correspondent, to discuss the results. So, Emma, what has caused investors to be so disappointed this morning? Well, investors were clearly disgruntled by the fact that the state-backed bank has posted yet another consecutive net annual loss, which takes its cumulative loss to more than £50 billion since the financial crisis, which is massive. Part of this was driven by the fact it took a huge uh, charge and provision for upcoming litigation provisions and also for the ongoing uh, debacle that is the mis-selling of payment protection insurance. Um, they also saw quite weak uh, revenues. There was a 15% dip compared to the previous year, taking it to about £13 billion. And this is happening as the bank continues to restructure, shrink its investment banking division, ultimately to focus on the UK, UK retail and commercial bank. Yeah. It's a huge restructuring story, but um, a lot of the big provisions and, and losses had been already been announced um, last month by the bank. And what seems to have disappointed some investors uh, this morning is its uh, revised guidance on dividends, the crucial issue of when will the bank restart dividend payments. What, what's, what have they said there? Indeed. So investors were quite excited last year when the bank uh, revealed its strengthening capital buffers, which um, after a certain point is used to pay out dividends. So a lot of analysts and investors were expecting dividend payments from next year. And indeed, the bank suggested that it could start repaying uh, dividends or uh, excess capital through share buybacks um, from next year. However, today they said definitively that it will not be happening uh, before Q1 of next year therefore pushing it back, which has clearly def disappointed a lot of investors. And actually six, uh, sits juxtaposed to Lloyds Banking Group, who yesterday revealed actually quite strong results and um, unveiled a, a bumper £2 billion dividend payout, which even included a special dividend um, in a boon to investors. What does this mean for the government, which still owes um, some 75-odd uh, percent of Royal Bank of Scotland and their hopes of uh, selling down that stake uh, over the course of the next couple of years? It certainly is a blow to the government. The fact that share prices have fallen so substantially today in itself is an issue because obviously the government doesn't want to sell its uh, remaining 73% stake in the bank um, at a loss. It in fact began the UK's biggest ever privatisation last year, offloading a 5% stake, and this incurred a 1.1 billion loss to taxpayers, which did not uh, please the masses, shall we say. Um, so this is definitely another blow to the government and perhaps uh, delays a further stake sale in RBS. Mm. Uh, and, and of course the, the contrast will grow now with Lloyds, which saw a big uh, jump in its shares this week after reporting you know, a big dividend payout. Uh, the contrast between Lloyds and RBS uh, remains stark. Okay, Emma, thank you very much.